Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. This channel, Avid Science, is all about trying to learn various concepts of Avid Science by practicing a lot of questions. In this video, we are going to solve this question on Strata Scratch regarding count the number of speakers per each language. This question has been asked in Google interviews just last month, that is May of 2025. If you are preparing for any of the data engineer, data scientist, BI analyst, data analyst or ML engineer roles, this is a great question to solve. We are going to solve this question both using MySQL as well as Python Pandas so that in interviews, oftentimes the interviewer asks us to switch between the languages SQL and Python. So it is easier for us to relate how a specific solution is written both in SQL as well as in Python and we can switch accordingly. Okay, the question reads, we need to count the number of speakers for each language and then sort the result based on number of speakers in descending order. So basically we are given a table called playbook users. Our expected output is two columns, language and number of speakers arranged in descending order by number of speakers. If we look at a preview of this table, playbook users, this is what we see. We have various columns, right? What we are concerned about is the language column and then we can just simply count the user IDs. So to solve this question, what we need to do is using MySQL from this table called playbook users, let us group by the language column and then in our output, we need the language column as well, right? So return me the language column and we need to count the number of speakers. How can you count the number of speakers? You can count user ID columns. So count user ID and this should be aliased as what is required in our output that is N speakers and we need to also order this in descending manner, right? Sort the result based on number of speakers in descending order. So we need to order by number of speakers in descending manner. Okay. Let me go ahead and run this. Let's see what do we get in our output. If we look at our output and try to match it with expected output, this looks exactly the same, right? So let me go ahead and check solution. So this is everything is green and this is how we do it. Now let us switch to Python pandas and see how same thing can be done using Python as well. Okay. So in this case as well, we have a data frame called playbook users expected output in this time is language and the name of the column is size not number of speakers so that should be kept in mind and if we look at the playbook users data frame it is exactly the same so in this case as well what we need to do is we need to take this data frame playbook users then we need to group by the column called language and then what we are going to do is we need to basically take this user ID column and perform a count. So we can use the dot aggregate function. So dot aggregate, then what we are going to do is we need to take the user ID column and perform the function called count and that entire thing, right? So when you are counting the user ID, that entire thing should be saved in a column named size. So put this entire thing in parentheses and assign the value of the column name is equal to size. So that is going to give you this. But since we learned that group by always sets the column that you are grouping by as the index. So we need to reset the index as well. This is not complete yet, but let me go ahead and run this. Let's see what do we have in our output right now. So you see you have various languages and the size where basically it has the number of speakers. But as you can see, it is not sorted. So what we can do is we can sort them. So we write dot sort values and by which column size and in descending order. So ascending is equal to false. Now let me go ahead and run this. Let's see what do we get in our output. So now if you look at this, this is sorting in descending order. Okay. Let me go ahead and check the solution if it is good. So yeah, everything is green and this is how we do it. 
so you see how the same thing can be done using python as well as mysql we went step by step how in this particular python case we use the dot aggregate function so that we, we don't have to use rename column function in case you are not using dot aggregate you are basically grouping by the language and taking the user id column count performing a count then you would have to rename that right so instead of doing that we just use the dot aggregate function reset the index and sort it by size in descending order similarly when we looked at mysql we just simply did this in a very basic fashion so yeah this is how we do it let me know if there's a better more efficient solution to solve this question let the solution be in the comment section below and i'll see you guys in the next video